What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome back to Underhell. Now, last time, it was a pretty intense little video. We actually had a lot of shooting and stuff. We met up with some guys that scared me. I got stuck on a fucking barrel. God damn it. And, uh... I had to restart an entire checkpoint and play for a couple- Oh god, I didn't think I could do that. And play for a minute. Oh wow, I never noticed that. He kind of puts his gun up if you look up against that. That's cool. Nice little touch. Alright, and then uh, at the end there, we were going to go in the helicopter, which is crashed down there, which our buddy was supposedly in. And now he's vanished. I have no idea where that guy went. And the dude that shot it down with an RPG had like fucking Spartan armor on, which is insane. Like we're in the middle of a city. How are these people rolling up in Humvees and stuff like that? Where's our military? Anyway, let's play the game because I- uh, oh, that was the guy. Oh, I thought that was, uh, I thought that was one of my guys. I hear him running. What is that noise? Oh, oh, what the hell? That guy is dead. That guy is just straight up dead. And there was a woman who was half naked right there. Why did that move? Is that guy just like barging? Holy shit, he's just running through walls. Oh, I have unlimited sprint. I didn't even realize that. That dude is a badass. Oh, wow. He fucked that guy up. I have no idea how much more this game has to offer, but... Okay. That guy's just standing there. Where the hell is this guy? Does he keep going up? Wow, he is just running through walls. God damn. This guy is like fucking Iron Man. Damn. I lost him. Did I... Did I fail? Well, I think if I... What the hell? Who the- I just heard- Was I supposed to find him? Was I supposed to- Well, I totally didn't catch him. What the hell was that noise? Wow, that's a lot of blood. This guy was just like running through people. I really hope that I wasn't supposed to find him. But, okay, that body wasn't there a minute ago. I guess I'm supposed to take the elevator. I have no idea how much more uh, this game has to it. Oh, there's that guy. Hey, He's not dead. What's up, dude? Why is everybody staring at an APC? This is a war zone. Is that Frank's chopper? No, it's oh, not. God. Really? So sorry. Look, there will be time to grieve for Frank, but right is he now dead? We have to focus on what we're doing. I've got a full squad here with me. Yeah, I see that. Awesome. You get in that Hummer and lead the way. I can get in the Hummer. Oh, tell me I can drive. Oh, I want to drive it. I want to drive the Hummer. It's not a Hummer, actually. It's an APC, but I'll let you slide. He said Hummer, right? I'm not just stupid and totally, like, heard him correctly. Or I said the wrong... Okay. Press E to enter the vehicle. I don't want to drive in the Hummer. I don't want to ride the Hummer. I want to ride in the fucking APC. Oh, I have... Oh, wow, I'm actually driving. Drive through the miniguns. Okay, this is strange. And they're just gonna run? Wow, these... Alright. This is a little scary. I don't want to run any of my guys over. But I think I'm good. I think I... Oh, wow! It is really hard to drive this thing. Like, it's very floaty, if that makes any sense. Oh, my God! Oh, this is so hard to drive. It might not seem difficult, but my God. it's It spins nicely in some aspects. Uh, aspects, aspects, but holy crap! It, like I'm going pretty fast, and it's really hard to turn. Also, where is that other? Where did those guys come from? And where did that? There's that other squad. Wow. Oh, that guy got ran the fuck over. All right, those guys just appeared from somewhere. Go. I, this thing is so hard to drive. Uh. Uh, it's so hard to turn. Like I'm trying not to go too fast. I think this is where the miniguns were. Why wouldn't we drive the APC down here, by the way? Does that make any sense? Why we didn't? Oh, there they are. Fuck you. Now I gotta back up. Now I gotta back up. Back up. Go backwards. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Fuck that APC. Or fuck that minigun thing. God damn, dude. I can't break in this thing. It's kind of annoying, actually. Oh, okay. I didn't... Look how slow I'm driving in there. Yeah, epic car smash! Or epic, uh... Epic drive through the wall and drive through the... Okay, and now it explodes. Alright. That was a bit extreme. What about my guys? Oh, they're just gone. 
Okay, so I collapsed the entire building. Cool. Alright, we'll move on from there. I have no idea how much more this game has in it. Uh, but I'm still enjoying it. Oh, crap. I guess we're going to the loading screen. I don't know how long this chapter is. I assume it's relatively long. But then again, there are more chapters to come, hopefully, eventually. Am I in a bank? Find the... Oh, of course, the knight has to go out. Alright. Oh, hi. How you doing? I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. I see you. I see you over there. You're hiding. Hey, asshole. Die. I shot him in the arm? Alright. I can't... Fuck you. Oh my god, this sniper rifle is so cool. Also, uh, somebody pointed out in the last episode that... I can double click on items in my inventory to use them. I didn't know that. So for anybody that was screaming at me and telling me to use them, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know it was a thing. That's the same gun that I have. Still haven't found any grenades for my alternate though. Oh, I need to reload this thing. It didn't actually take my reload. So there's hostages here somewhere. But then again, the last time that I had to interact with hostages, I actually didn't fu Is that somebody shooting at me? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, I see your light over there. Uh, there's that. All I can see is these guys' lights. I hit him. I don't know if he's dead, though. It's really quiet in here. Compared to how the rest of the game has been, it's super quiet down here. I guess it makes sense because we're underground or whatnot. Kind of, in a way. I don't know. I'm rambling. There's a helmet. There we go. Now it worked. For some reason, uh, he also pointed out that, yeah, you can pick up helmets, which I thought I could... But, for some reason, some people's helmets, it wouldn't allow me to pick them up. Like, I assume... Oh! Can you shoot me? Oh, yeah, you can! I didn't know if you could shoot me through that or not. Don't charge me. Don't charge me. Wow, you didn't do a whole lot of damage, luckily for me. Fuck off. Wow, you guys are just... Okay, I'm gonna... God... Oh! Alright, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, load an autosave, because that guy did not throw a grenade. That was bullshit. Got some health back, and I... Holy shit, I love the bullet sound effects and everything, like, when you shoot, like, especially my shotgun, when I shoot it, you can actually hear the shells hitting the ground, which is very nice little touch. Okay, there's still guys above, I think, maybe. I think, is that everybody? Alright, I'm not doing very well right now. I have, uh, very little healing items, which is not good in any way, shape, or form. There's a coffee cup there. I can't do anything with that. Oh my god, those guys were wrecking me. Like, three times I died from a shotgun I didn't even know existed. Forgot I had my pistols. My sni- Oh, I need to reload my sniper rifle. You carry a lot of ammo in this game, which is really nice. It doesn't make sense because if you were really carrying the amount of bullets that you have, the machine gun makes sense because you have clips, but if you were carrying that many clips, you would be so heavy that it would be almost impossible to run. Like, people don't realize how heavy bullets and stuff are. Yeah. Wow, there's actual stuff in here. I did not know if there would be or not. That was a nice little care package, I guess. I guess I don't need that ammo. I didn't even think that would have anything in it. It just kind of looked weird to see a box laying there on the floor. So I got five armor. Good. I still got some batteries left, which I think I'm doing okay. I'll take that soda. Uh, I don't think there's any more boxes, though. So, I don't really know what I'm doing right now. I guess I'm just moving through this complex, but... I don't know exactly... Oh, there's a guy here somewhere. I heard him. All clear! And these freaking win door windows that I can't see through are not cool, by the way. Like that guy? Alright, nope. I'm loading. I don't care. That's bullshit. I can't see through that goddamn window. Fuck that. I'm not gonna get shot from an enemy... That is, I can't see shit. So, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and open up and then shoot the window. I don't care. I got enough freaking ammo in this game. Like, I'm not... I'm the type of person that I've played, like, the Call of Duties on Veteran and stuff like that. So, I know when there's some aspects that are a little cheap. Uh, and, yeah... Like that? Fuck that! I don't care if the guy was there. That is bullshit. I'm not going to take that much damage, especially when all I have to do is go back this far. Fucking die. I hope that grenade kills you. 
How did that do damage to me? No, I'm not taking damage. Also, how did that grenade do damage to me? I was far enough away where it wouldn't have touched me. Then you guys are probably at home yelling at me and calling me a bitch because I keep reloading, which is understandable. I understand that because it is kind of cheap what I'm doing, but I don't care. It's only two seconds back and I'm not taking that much damage. Fuck that. Stand up. Stand up. You're shooting the ground. Stop fucking... Mm. He keeps like... Oh, God. All right. That guy could have killed me easily right there. He keeps... I keep getting shot, but I keep getting bleeding as well, which is not good because I don't have that many bandages. Come on. I know you're in here. Where are you? Poke your head up. I know there was another guy in here. I heard him talking. I can't see. Oh, right there. There we go. The guy's back was to me. I couldn't see his light. That's how I'm kind of uh, seeing these people. Granted, I could turn my night vision on, but it's really not that much of a difference. I mean, it is, but whatever. I'm rambling, and I'm making excuses for my terrible gameplay. I mean, this is the first time that I've actually really taken a lot of damage in the game. I'll take that sandwich. All right, this area is really dark, so I'm actually going to use my night vision right here. I'll take that soda, too. Let me actually use one of these. Oh, I don't actually need to use more. I heard somebody yell. Wow, your battery goes down really fast with your... Oh! That was the hostage. I think you're dead. Thank you. What's up, dude? Wait. Wait. Wait, trouble? What are you talking about? And a what? Also, I heard somebody shooting, and I don't know where it was. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Who are you? Well, didn't mean to switch to this weapon, but fuck it. We're already committed. How aren't you dead? No, no, die. Thank you. That was bullshit. Again, stop. Like, come on. No, I'm not going to take that much fucking damage. Jesus Christ. This is getting a little out of hand and a little frustrating. Especially because I'm almost out of items and I'm getting wrecked by these guys. Give me your helmet. I need that. <laughs> Alright, power's back on. Cool, I can finally stop using my flashlight. I need that, thank you very much. What the hell is going on here? So, I, I remember earlier, the guy came on the radio and was talking about bodies getting dismembered. And they were all fucked up like they were tortured, I think is what he said. So I'm guessing there's some type of creature here. Maybe we're actually going get to get to some scares in this episode. I think the reason that I wasn't picking up their helmets last time was because I just didn't notice them. They weren't glowing. Most of the items in this game tend to glow. Sorry for freaking out right there. I get, I just get frustrated when I get cheap shotted, I guess. Which, it really isn't cheap shotted because I'm kind of just standing here taking the bullets. But, I swear, I'm good at first person shooters. I'm pretty good at first person shooters, I should say. I played all of the Call of Duties on Veteran. Heck, I even beat... Matt, I even beat a- wow, that guy doesn't have a head. I even beat Black Ops 3 on the hardest difficulty, which was fucking insane. Because, uh, you die in one shot, which was, uh, annoying. And I did it by myself, I didn't do it with other people. A lot of people have done the, done it on veteran, or, what is it now, realistic, I think? A lot of people have done it on real- on- on realistic as well, but most of the time, they usually, uh, they have somebody else go through with them, because if you play it in co-op, you can just die- you can just go down, but you won't... It takes a while for you to bleed out. But me, I had to do it by myself. Because I don't really have any friends that would do it with me. So, you know. Yeah. I'm alone. More flares? Cool. Still don't know what's going on, but sure. Alright, bro. I got this. I, I don't know what, I, what my only hope is. Okay. Epic music. Cool. Oh, that's me. Um. 
That's a lot of dudes. That's a lot of dudes. Uh... Yeah. Is this gonna be like a super epic moment where I get dual pistols and just I can walk in and kill them like Matrix style, no problem? No, it's not a raid, it's just one guy. What the fuck? What the hell is going on? I do have dual pistols. Oh! Okay. Why am I in slow motion all of a sudden? This is cool, I can actually see the bullets. Fuck you, that guy got shot in the face. Where did this come from? I mean, this is cool. Don't- Ow! Oh, God, I'm out of ammo. Oh, God, I didn't realize. Hold on, hold on, let me reload. Stop shooting me! Fuck! Fuck! Stop shooting me! Use it! God, that was really close. Can I, can I switch to another weapon? I don't even know if I can. I can, thank God. Give me that. Where'd it go? Where did he go? Oh, there you are. There we go. That was pretty cool. I don't know where the slow-mo came from, but... I now have dual pistols. I have dual Berettas now instead of just one Beretta. That's pretty awesome. Was not expecting that. I, that was like a total fear moment right there. Is that what this game is kind of derived from? I don't really know. I didn't actually look into the game too much, but... Or, well, I did, but I mean, like, I didn't look into the backstory of where the, what the developer was uh, inspired by. That was cool. That was worth taking the extra damage, because that was my fault. I was just standing there, and then all of a sudden the slow-mo went away, and I didn't have slow-mo anymore, and I was getting shot, and I didn't realize that I had no ammo in my clip. I was complaining a lot there. I get, I don't know... Uh, I like first-person shooter games, don't get me wrong, but I don't play a lot of them, mainly because they kind of tend to frustrate me. And I'll admit, I get a little loud when I play first-person shooters. That's why I don't play multiplayer. I can't play multiplayer anymore. I just, I can't do it. I can't stand the fact of dying so much because I'm really bad at multiplayer first-person shooters. Single-player, I'm good. Like I said, I've beaten all the Call of Duties on Veteran by myself. I've beaten Halo... That, uh, that doesn't, that doesn't sound like a good thing in that room, so I'm gonna go ahead and stay out of that room. What the fuck is this place? And... Oh, these guys are... Oh, that's a lot of staff members. Isn't that the guy that died? Why don't you come the same way I did? Through a wall. Uh, do I need to do something here? Ah! Oh, I'm getting gassed! Oh! Oh, do I need to do something? Do I... Uh... Oh, I think we're about to get to some scary stuff. Okay, cool, finally in this game. We're going back to the house, though. Oh, don't tell me that's the end of chapter one. We have received no such order. We must not expose anyone other than the people on the list. You know that. I don't give a shit. Did you see how many of our guys just got killed? Even got Danko. I wanted to see him fucking suffocate like the others. That's a body. Who is talking? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, can I, 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 I can't do anything. I have a body. Ow. Ow. I'm, I'm suffocating. I can't. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, do I need to do something? What am I, what am I being exposed to? Hey. Hey. How do I get out of here? What the hell is going on? Uh, 
What the fuck? I can't do anything. Wow, my screen is freaking the fuck out. Huh! Huh! What? Uh... Holy fuck! Yeah! Oh! What the fuck happened? Did I become a monster and just like run out of the complex just shredding everybody? What the hell? I'm back at my house. And who were those people that showed up? Were those my guys that showed up or... That was a lot of blood. That was an insane amount of blood. So I was in that room. There was all those hostages. I suddenly got gassed. Woke up in that other room. They gassed me with something. And then apparently I transformed into a monster and shredded everybody. And somehow got back to the entrance. And somebody showed up. I don't know if it was the more guy, more of the bad guys or if it was my people. They showed up and they were like, oh, this guy's still alive. And then I was knocked out. There's, so is this before she died? Because that picture was fucked up in Smash when we started the game. And this is the first time I think that we're actually going to be back at the house since the beginning. Because you can go to the house anytime, I believe, but I don't know if it progresses with the story when you just choose to go back there. Oh my god, my contact is driving me insane. Stop it. What the fuck is going on? I'm just getting like a tour of the house now with sad music. Oh, it's her. Is she playing the piano? It's pretty good, not gonna lie, I do like the music. Wow, I spit all over my screen when I was fishing earlier. Sounds really cool. I think this might be in the chapter one. I'm assuming it is. Otherwise, this is the longest cutscene this game's had to offer with me coming back to it afterwards. Aren't you supposed to be dead or is this before? I'm assuming this must be before something happened to her. Because I believe she committed suicide in the bathtub and he comes home to find her that way. But why it happened, you have no idea. But I think this might be before, because like I said, that picture earlier was smashed when we originally woke up in the house and did the demo and everything. But now, I, I think that this might be before. <laughs> Ew. This is a really long cutscene. Where'd she go? What the? Oh, what the? My name is Michael, and I am a lawyer, and much more. Do you know why you're here? No. You're here because many people died. Well, they were terrorists. I killed them. Oops. Unidentified personnel. Uh. Policemen, and even your own SWAT team. All dead. Oh! I went a little crazy. You're not being charged of anything yet. The scene is being analyzed. But it's pretty big. There's more than a mile to go through in the city. And way more below. Do you have anything to say? The fuck is going on? actually remember anything? Nope. There was gas, I was shaken. Uh, I guess you do not. A little bit, and then a lot of blood. Oh, here's this guy. You're I, I guess you're I can tell you one thing. Someone has to be held responsible for this. In judging by all the people that died, and you are the last man standing. I held you responsible for this. And I'm gonna make sure you go straight to hell for what you did. Officers, please leave the room. Fuck off, dude. I don't know what happened. I was gassed by some douchebag terrorists. How is it my fault? Forgive him. He lost a friend in the incident. You see, this is a rather big incident. You think there was a lot of blood? It's all over the news. And the entire city, country, is frightened. I would be frightened, too, if... From what I've heard... The government is actually sending Homeland Security, along with the army, to this facility to try and uncover what's going on. Also, we never found the woman, Mia, I they believe. They haven't even managed to enter the complex yet, so 
right now you are the only one who knows what lies within I don't know what so, lies within Jake tell me Good, more demonic speak. That's good. That's always a good sign, you know? Whenever I meet somebody, I always like to make sure that their surrounding music is demonic whispering and everything because it really builds character on that person. It lets you get an idea of what their intentions might actually be. Now I'm in a helicopter with a bunch of prisoners. Who the fuck are these guys? What? Same. Am I in Utah now? Oh, so that's the end of chapter one. Welcome to Underhell. Okay. Wait, was that the whole thing that I just did? Was that just a prequel? Was that just... Oh, so Underhell is a mining facility. Okay. That makes sense with the name. Wait, so was that whole thing I just did, was that, like, just the prequel to the game? And is this the start of Chapter 1? Because if so, awesome, because I've got more gameplay to go with. Oh, there's a little bit of a texture problem with that jet right there. So, Underhell is the name of this facility. Okay. Still have no idea. Yeah, you guys can see that, uh, the re reflection filter on that jet's, uh on the canopy is a little fucked up. That's why it's all pink like that. It's nothing to do with me. It's the game itself. I think. I'm pretty sure it's the reflection shaders. Because the other ones are working. It just must be messed up a little bit with that particular window. Also, the rotors just stopped for a second. Alright. Oh, okay. I, I have no idea what the hell's going on. Press what? How far? How low are we going? This guitar is going insane, by the way. I think this might be the beginning of Chapter 1. That whole thing that I just went through was all uh, an entire prequel. Either that or it was saying Chapter 1, Under Hell. Like, that's where it ends. I don't know. This video has been a lot of cutscenes. And me dying a lot. Alright guys, sorry about that. For whatever reason, the game decided to freak out there, and then I got a bitmap error, and I literally could not get past it. Every time I got to that same section, I tried to load back, and it put me in the same room uh, with that guy talking to him, and then the game kept crashing right there. I don't know why, so I started, like, if I go to start, and I can go to chapter select, I started Welcome to Under Hell. And this is literally how it starts. So I believe this is actually the first chapter. We have a situation, must have just been like the prequel chapter, which is cool. That means we have an entire other chapter. So I'm guessing this is when the scary stuff is going to start to happen. So I'm going to let the cutscene play through right here. I'm hoping that once I landed, because the game did uh, fade out. So I'm guessing that's when the game, I'm guessing that's when it would have faded and started this chapter right here. At least that's what I hope. If not, if there's something I missed, I apologize guys, but I can't get it to... Okay, let's get the shit out of me. I can't get it to work either. So, hopefully it would fade cut to this starting up. So, hopefully it's that. Okay, my I'm back at my house in that... Oh, I'm actually starting in my bed now. And everything is purple for some reason. 
Okay. What sucks is I don't have any of my inventory anymore because technically when I do a chapter select, it starts, it's like starting a new game at that chapter, which sucks. But this is where I'm actually going to end the part right here. I apologize for that big jump uh, right there. I don't know why this video did have a lot of cutscenes and everything in it. I don't know why the game decided to crash and break right there, but hopefully it just fade cut to this section. So in the next part, I think we're actually going to get some scares in the next part because I'm guessing this is when the game starting and going to actually start to get scary and whatnot. So Hopefully you guys are still enjoying this game. I, like I get, I apologize for the errors in this one, but no idea why it did that, but whatever. I'm still enjoying it, and I'm looking forward to getting some spooks in the next episode because I'm guessing it's going to come because this place looks creepy. So that's all the time I got for you today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out the annotations. They're going to spawn right here for more videos that I've done, and I'll see you guys next time. Maniacs out. I stood at the gates but couldn't conceive of a world outside the strangest feeling. Oh, are we actually getting spooked? Are we actually getting- Oh, no, that's actually the helicopter. Oh, okay. That guy's legs fell off. That's the helicopter.